art is making Lakeland a destination in Central Florida, and you don't even have to get out of your car to see it. Aid on your side, Stacey De Silva reports from our Polk County Bureau. This is the newest piece of art coming to life in downtown Lakeland. It's part of a growing collection of murals that are hard to ignore and easy to appreciate. So my goal is for really everybody to be able to enjoy it. Jillian Fazio likes to incorporate a personal touch in her work. Often, it's a butterfly. I've always kind of um, identified those as like my grandparents kind of coming and visiting me and they're definitely like symbolic for a cycle of life. So She's 26 years nice old and has already created past. 40 murals. Oh, wow. This one, a citrus themed piece, is one of Lakeland's nice most popular. Artist, but I feel like there's really an initiative um, to bring arts out to the forefront and make it public art and visible to everybody versus behind closed doors and in a studio. It's been a focus of the Lakeland Community Redevelopment Agency Agency, which launched a grant program last year to give businesses the chance to brighten up their facades through art. It makes Lakeland kind of stand out and be a little bit more unique. Um, so people will come from all over and take pictures with the walls and they'll tag on social media and that just brings more love and more, um, you know, pride in our community. Lakeland's James Hicks is creating the city's newest mural on Kentucky Avenue. He says it's about man's relationship with technology. You know, we grow up fantasizing about futuristic worlds and about our relationship and how that's going to change and how that will affect us in, in the future. The former tattoo artist says there's something special about creating art out in the open. When you do a large mural and there's a lot of community, you kind of get that feeling of being connected to people and entertaining people with your work. So next time you're in town, take a second, look around and appreciate the art. James hopes to have this piece done within the next two weeks. Reporting in Lakeland, I'm Stacey De Silva. Eight on your side.